A few weeks ago, I released a video about a secret feature on your cordless drill where I called up five different power tool brands to hear what they had to say about this supposed feature. The response to this video was overwhelming to say the least. Within the first week, it reached over 2 million views, which is the fastest growing video I've ever had. But what really got my attention was the comments. Not only did you, as a community, leave over 4,000 comments on this video so far, but the opinions on this one run deep. I saw lots of comments from people who were cursing me for daring to say that this is a feature and spreading misinformation, as well as hundreds of comments, hundreds, saying that they tried this and it had actually solved the problem their drill had with bits falling out. I even got a response video from the popular Canadian YouTuber Arduino vs Evil or AVE who wanted to show that this feature was no feature at all. And that video of his now has over 400,000 views. So several people had suggested that rather than speak to the power tool companies, I needed to speak to the chuck manufacturers, since just about every drill brand out there uses chucks from two manufacturers, Jacobs and Rome, or Rome, I don't know how to say it in German, but so that's exactly what I did. Now, in case you missed it, the feature I made the video about is that when you tighten your chuck all the way down, ratchet it into place, and then turn it back a click, it supposedly locks that bit in place. I tested this out with nine different brands, 11 different drills, and I actually called all of these different tool companies to see if this was the real deal. The comments section was pretty divided, but within just three days of that video coming out, a representative from Rome reached out to me. If you haven't heard of Rome, they're a German manufacturing company that makes chucks for all kinds of applications, but one of the biggest ones is they make them for all of these power drills. Their 100 plus year old company supplies the drill chucks for companies like DeWalt, Milwaukee, and others, though you'll find that whether your drill uses a Rome chuck or not really depends on where you live or more specifically where you bought your tools. I asked to be put in touch with one of their engineers in Germany, and not only did they provide me a definitive answer, but they even sent a PowerPoint and video of tests that they ran in response to this to try to show how this works. Take a look. You can see on this first slide that they're showing how to correctly chuck a bit. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, and they do a test video over here on the side that shows that as they pull that trigger and release it, activating the brake, over and over and over, that heavy bit in there stays locked and securely in place. On this second slide, this is how not to chuck your bit. And you can see that they say, don't turn it counterclockwise. Don't turn it until you get that click. You can see at some point, pretty quickly on this one, the bit actually falls right out, showing that this is not a real feature. This is what they had to say about the supposed feature. If you now turn the chuck backwards one click, as described below, the locking system is deactivated and the bit is not securely fastened anymore. This is a clear mal operation. This is not only with Rome chucks, but also with chucks from our competition. The other big brand of drill chuck manufacturers is the Jacobs Chuck Manufacturing Company. You've probably heard of Jacobs Chucks as they're used in Makita, DeWalt, Milwaukee, and other brands. Again, depending on what country you buy your drills in. I was able to get a hold of their engineering department and I told them what Rome had said and they actually shed a bit more light on the subject. They said, quote, Rome is correct. The chuck is no longer in the lock position per your instructions on the video. Once the chuck is tightened and the sleeve is rotated in the counterclockwise direction, opening around 12 degrees or one click, the chuck is in the unlock position. At this point, the chuck is working or performing as a non-locking chuck would. Now you may have seen these chucks that don't have the ratcheting feature, so he's saying that basically it's putting it back to that state. That seems as cut and dry as it can be. It seems to me like many of the representatives from the major power tool brands that I spoke with were simply wrong about this feature. But that raises the question, what about all of these people, and there are so many, who claimed that they were having issues with the bits falling out of their drills until they started using this technique? Well. It could be that they were now paying closer attention to the locking and ratcheting process and therefore tightening their bits down more. Or maybe there's something else to it. I think the video that I made was useful to show that I went through this process, I did some testing of my own, I talked to the right people, or so I thought, but I definitely didn't. It just goes to show that sometimes you have to dig a little further or a little deeper to get to the bottom of something. There is no secret drill feature, and I'm glad that now I know that. If you're still having that success with it, I'd love to hear more and see why that's working. Maybe there's something else to it that we're just not aware of. But as far as I can tell, and as far as all of the evidence pointing to it, there is no secret locking feature for your drill. 
Thanks for watching.